Hey yo, what's going on guys? My name is Brand Brand the Monkey Man and today I'm here with a brand new movie review. Man, I know it's been a long time since we've done one of these and today have I got the video for you. We are going to be reviewing the one, the only, the most critically acclaimed, per perhaps even the best Marvel movie out at the moment. Uh, I'm talking about, if you don't already know, Black Panther. Let's get right into it. Man, let's just begin straight off the bat with the actors and actresses that starred in this movie. And were they perfect? Now we've got the obviously the, the main um, dude from Black Panther. Uh, bear with me there. I actually don't know the name, so I'm going to look them up right now. Ah. So we've got uh, Chadwick Boseman as the Black Panther. As you already know, he's probably, you've probably seen him in uh, things like Captain America Winter Soldier. He's also coming up in the new uh, uh, Avengers movie, Infinity, Infinity War. And then we've also got Michael B. Jordan, my man. He is acting as the main enemy in this movie. Although there are other ones in this, he is the main one. And he's not really, I guess you'd say, an enemy. Um, but the way they build him up is awesome. Like they, they build his character up from the ground and let you know kind of his background. So you can kind of relate to him and understand why he's acting the way he does. But then you've got other supporting actresses, um, but not even supporting, they're more like the main actresses as well. You've got things like, now bear with me with the pronunciation, we've got La, Lupita Nyong O and Danai Guerrera. I don't, I don't, sorry, I probably butchered those names, but those uh, two female lead actresses there as well were amazing in the movie. And that's the thing about this whole movie. Um, overall, the characters were all kind of equally um, important. You've got the two main kind of bad guy, good guy, Black Panther and then the Golden Panther. And then you've also got the um, the woman who were the, the mo pretty much the strongest warriors in all of Wakanda. Um, so yeah, in terms of actresses and actors, actors, man, this movie has got it down packed. But then we go on to the other things, such as pacing of the movie. Action scenes were fast paced. You've got a mixture of slow motion plus a lot of blurs and um, fast motion in there as well. Things I'm trying to say a lot of stuff here without giving away the movie. Um, but yeah, action scenes were great. And then you've got things like the overall story. Overall story was fast paced. They didn't leave you kind of waiting for a long time. There was a bit of talking during the middle of the movie, but it's all kind of necessary to kind of build the movie up. So man, overall story was awesome. I, I didn't actually know that much about Black Panther going into this movie. So I mean, you know, I didn't actually know who he was as a hero. Um, I've only seen him really in uh, Winter Soldier. I read him in some, uh, some comic books, but I didn't know that much about him. But this movie kind of set the whole scene for Black Panther. And I feel like he's gonna be in a great uh, place for when it comes to the event because it's going to be one of the more popular ones, especially being that this movie was fully African American. Now there were many uh, white actors in this, uh, there was only one being the uh, agent from the CIA or the C CIA, yeah, agent from the CIA and then there's just a couple kind of cameos throughout but I mean overall it was just predominantly African American with even some Africans in there. Um, so I mean being overall you got um, African American music, you've got um, African American director, this movie was African American and that's great for the community um, because they deserve the light, man. They're awesome actors. They've got some great talent um, and they just don't get enough attention these days. So good on you um, for getting them out there. Uh, yeah, like I said, actors and actresses, perfect. Uh, you've got fast action, paced action scenes with some slow-mo in there as well. Who doesn't love a good slow-mo? You know who I'm talking about. And slow motion, great. you got the backstory building up the story of the main protagonist and also um, the story of the enemy as well. So you've got the kind of talking about how they came to where they are today and some of their history. Um, but you've also got um, the great overall story of how everything is, why, why it is, and how it became to be. And they're kind of linking it all together well, so I think that's great. But then you've also got people that don't know Black Panther like myself, um, who become a fan because of this movie, because it's just so great in terms of getting uh, his name out there. So. I think overall, this movie for myself, if I was to give it a rating, it's definitely one of the better Marvel movies that come out uh, in recent times. And I mean, I know that's said about pretty much every Marvel movie that comes out, but this movie definitely uh, gets a great rating from me. Um, I will give it a out of five, out of five. I think I give it a, you know what? I give this movie a four out of five. Uh, uh, nah, 5 out of 5. It's a great movie. I mean, I could definitely watch it again, see myself watching it again. He may not be the strongest hero, he may not be uh, crazy overpowered, but I think that's what makes it good. He doesn't have to be super strong to be cool. Um, and mate, Marvel, you're doing the right stuff here. Um, you're, you're doing great, great work for the cinema. Um, you know how to make great movies, and guys, always remember, with Marvel movies, stay to after those credits, because there's a little bit of a secret after there, and you don't want to miss that out, because it is kind of linking it all together, so you know. Brand Brandon Monkey, man. He knows what he's talking about. But hey, this has been the movie review, just a quick lowdown. Like I said, five out of five, great movie. 
Um, definitely go watch it, it's worth your time. I'm gonna watch it again. Probably won't go to the cinema to watch it again, but I will definitely watch it again because it's worth my time. But otherwise, stay tuned for our next video. Make sure you like and subscribe, share this video around, guys. Thank you for all the support on the most recent videos, and thank you for getting us to 100 subscribers. Man, you don't know what that means, but hey, you guys are awesome, like I always say. And until the next video, it's been Brand Brand the Monkey Man. Peace. Wakanda forever.